let's say uh, a big hardware player like Intel AMD or something like that, they, they sponsor, uh, let's say China, you know, the kind of mileage they get in terms of marketing as compared to in Singapore where they only get uh, uh, such a uh, reach to so many, uh, such audience, uh, such a big audience. So I think that's why uh, the sponsorship uh, prices and money is not, not as good as you see in some other country. Indeed, in countries like Korea and Japan, gamers are cultural icons with fanatical supporters numbering in the thousands. As a result, they are able to command hefty endorsement fees. When it comes to Singapore, I mean a lot of um, the business is still at, at, at its infancy stage. Even um, gamers themselves uh, who, who look for sponsors, for example, they don't get big money from sponsors at this point of time. No sponsors would recognize that it's a platform for them to promote their brand, similar to professional soccer players. Yeah, so, so uh, we reckon that um, the industry will definitely grow. You know, more money will come in. A quick look at the WCG proves that the sponsors and the money are coming in. The purse at the grand finals has jumped from 200,000 US dollars in 2001 to 462,000 US dollars last year. However, some feel that the money isn't the only thing needed for the competitive gaming scene to grow. Which is why Nicholas, in between running his land center gaming giants, has formed SCOGA, a would-be national association for Singapore's cyber athletes. Through SCOGA, Nicholas aims to provide opportunities for local gamers to train internationally and career guidance to rising stars like Wilson Chia. Unfortunately, his plans have hit some snags. That's still kind of like a, a barrier uh, to us uh, getting former accreditation, uh, registration and stuff like that. We have a bit more problem on that front, Yeah, getting the support from that side. But it's coming along, it's coming along.